Good morning, church. My name is Herbert Caningoni, and I head up the hosting team at our central campus in Manchester. Um, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit about um, a passage that was reading the Bible, which really just struck me, struck me quite quite powerfully. Um, I'll just quickly get in straight into it for you. Um, it's from Exodus 17, verse 11 to 12. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand. Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Pretty powerful passage, and just when you think about relationships and the support that you can get from them, just how, how powerful they can get. Just, just to add, just to add some some sort of context to this, um, this is this is at a time where when the Israelites are basically travel, traveling through and um, to get to the Promised Land um, at, the, at the start, well, partially start their journey, um, and as they as as they as they were as they were proceeding through and through the lands, they they came across Amalek who decided to fight them at that at that time, um, and the old and. At the time, they, they they in a way separated themselves. Where we had Joshua being sent out to go and fight in the physical, and we had Moses going to pray um, ultimately at the top of the hill, where he was holding where he was holding the um, the rod of God high up, high up, high up in his hands. Um, and as we find, if, if once you, I'll definitely say go and read it. You you will just you will see the theme of relationship throughout, um, but I will break it down as we follow. Um, and at, at, as the bas- as the battle is raging um, at the bottom, at the in, in in this valley, you've got Moses at the top of the hill, holding holding up holding up the stick, making sure that he he does his part battling the spiritual, um, whilst Joshua is down in the valley battling in the physical and you it's it's such a powerful powerful moment um because sometimes i think we forget that as we battle the spiritual there are some things that we there are there is always support to be needed um there's always support to be given um to, to people who are battling the spiritual um and we see that as we see Aaron and her um physically supporting moses during his spiritual battle where his body has now gotten tired and they are holding him up, holding him up through all the way to, to, to the sun goes down. Um, and just, just a few things that I just really want to sort of point out as we, as we look at, as we look at the, the passage and throughout, throughout the, the actual chapter, um, you know, you can see the bonds of fellowship, the bonds of friendship and support that, they, that have been formed. Um, you've got Aaron and her supporting Moses. You've got Moses who is supporting Joshua. Who's, you know, even though even though in this particular in this particular context, Aaron and her know that Joshua is fighting. Joshua is the one who's been supported by Moses, um, and it was obviously it wasn't just Joshua; it was Joshua and the Israel, other Israelites that were fighting. Um, but when you when you look at it in the context of a day to day life, usually when you're supporting, usually when you're supporting somebody through a spiritual battle. Sometimes it's not even about that particular person. It's about somebody you probably have never met, never seen. But there is always, there is always more. Your 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 blessing of support goes beyond just that person that you're supporting. And I just, yeah, I just really wanted to, to hold in on that um, because it, it comes down to obviously you've got we've all got spiritual gifts that are, that are granted to us by God. In, in some way, shape, or form, whether that's you know, in, in some in some instances you've got some people have got the gift of administration. Some person's life, whilst they whilst they're battling the spiritual for somebody else, could need just some, a little bit of help with administration in their life, and that that leads to blessing upon blessing upon blessing for that person, the person they're supporting, and possibly beyond. We sometimes you just don't know. And just in regards to just the, 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 the level of friendship, the bonds of friendship that you can 
forge is the right term. Um, as we've, you know, we've got family, friends, people we've not met yet, who are to your left, to your right, all it takes is a look, all it takes is a hello, all it takes is that initial conversation, and there is a blessing from God around every corner. Um, we, we just need to be bold enough, really, to step into it. Um, as as we see, Aaron and her picked up a stone. It, 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 it would have been one that can fit in the palm of your hand. It would have been a heavy stone so that it can support Moses' weight. They held up his hands. They supported him through that. That was, you know, something something that was further forging a bond of friendship that was already present. And I feel like for for us for us as a church, that is something that can continue to continue continue to happen. We can be forging new new bonds, reforging, strengthening the old bonds, where life giving relationships have constantly been formed, renewed refreshed, strengthened, um, so that at, t at times of, whether it's in need or not in need, there are people there to walk with you, to step, to step every step of the way with you, and just show you the love of God, because ultimately that is what you're showing. When you're giving somebody support, you're showing the love of God, the, the love that God has placed within us, flowing out, working out, being present in every moment and yeah that, that's that was just what I wanted to share um, just quickly pray um, for, for, for for you all as you go about your day and your the rest of your week Heavenly Father we just thank you we thank you so much for for the bonds of friendship the bonds of relationship um, that you continue to form that you continue to show us that you continue to highlight in people we know, don't know, have known for years, have known for, and people we've known for a day. We just pray, Lord, that as you continue to shower us with your love, that we will take that love and continue to spread it, to show it to to, to others who, who need it, others who might not understand it. And just pray, Lord, that you will continue to, to guide us in our support for each other, to guide us as we receive support that we that we can receive it graciously and know how to how to how to function with it. In your mighty and awesome name we pray. Amen.